you ever thought why is there so much water on the earth? Where does this water come from? Why is there fresh water and seawater? The differences between the waters and why seawater is salty? Let's dive in. In the early days of the Earth's formation, a large number of oxygen atoms and hydrogen atoms and water molecules formed after collisions in the solar system. Nebula Earth is formed from dust in the solar system and some water molecules in the nebula are absorbed into it. The early Earth's temperature is preserved directly within the Earth's interior the temperature is so high that water molecules cannot take the form of a liquid. So the water molecules initially synthesized from hydrogen and oxygen are minerals and combine to form water crystals. After the crystals are dehydrated, there is water and some of the water evaporates. After it is turned into water vapor, it is returned to the water through the water cycle. In addition, during the formation of the Earth, a huge planet hit the Earth. This planet Thea, a hypothesized ancient planet, collided with our young Earth approximately 4.5 billion years ago. But the moon is also pushed. It was formed when Thea hit the Earth. The huge energy generated by the Thea impact caused the rocks on the Earth's surface to melt and releases a large amount of water vapor. As the Earth cools, water vapor condenses into liquid form and this. Water formed the earliest source of water on Earth. Water is continuously redistributed and reused through recycling processes. The water cycle includes evaporation, precipitation, groundwater and ice. The evaporation of water caused by solar energy during processes such as snow melting will change liquid water and turns it into water vapor and the water vapor rises to become clouds and form in the atmosphere. Under cooling conditions the water vapor condenses to form water droplets and eventually falls in the form of water and returns to the ground, such as rain, snow, dew, frost and so on. Part of the water seeps into the ground to form a groundwater supply which spurs. Plant growth and groundwater systems use another section that creates precipitation this then flows into rivers, lakes and oceans. Ice and snow are another form of water stored in as ice water in the mountains, icebergs and glaciers are further divided into fresh water. Fresh water refers to water with low salinity, the salinity is usually less than zero. 5% of fresh water includes rivers, lakes, wetlands, which is the main source of fresh water. The main source of fresh water such as ice and snow is precipitation. Especially rain and snow when precipitation falls from the atmosphere. When lowered to the ground, it can seep into the ground to form. Downwater which can also flow into rivers and lakes to form surfaces. The circulation and distribution of fresh water play an important role on the Earth's. Important ecological and socio-economic role in supplying human. Drinking water, agricultural irrigation, industrial water for us. The ocean is the largest body of water on Earth and covers about 71% of the land The salinity of seawater on the surface of the Earth is about 3.5%. The main source of seawater is rivers that combine freshwater with dissolved materials in rocks carried into the ocean. Eventually, dissolved substances such as salts, minerals, and nitrogen compounds accumulate, leading to higher salinity characteristics in seawater. The main source of seawater is rivers that combine fresh water with. Dissolved materials in rocks are carried into the ocean when precipitation passes through the rocks and flow into the river, the water will carry the rocks with it. Dissolved substances such as salts, minerals, nitrogen compounds and other substances will eventually flow into the ocean, these dissolved substances gradual accumulation results in seawater showing higher salinity characteristics. The salinity of seawater is mainly caused by the rocks dissolved in it, the main rock groups dissolved in seawater include sodium chloride, magnesium sulfate, calcium sulfate, potassium sulfate, and other trace elements. Minerals come from rocks deep within the Earth's crust The water temperature cycle proceeds, as they are washed and dissolved by the river and transported into the ocean where they're dissolved. The rocks gradually accumulate to form the salty seawater Its freshness is affected by many factors. First of all, the Earth's climate and precipitation patterns determines the freshness of seawater in areas with drought and high temperatures. If the evaporation rate is higher than the precipitation rate will cause dissolution in water bodies as increased concentrations of substances makes the seawater more vivid. Secondly, the geographical location of the ocean and the exchange of water bodies have an impact on the sea. The freshness of the water also has an impact such as being located near the equator due to high temperatures. The oceans in polar regions are melting and are supplied with ice and snow water, the salinity is relatively low. In addition, biological activities in the ocean, marine, ocean geological activities and human activities will also has a certain impact on the salinity of seawater. To sum up, the source of water on the Earth originally came from comets from the accumulation of material during planet formation from icy asteroid impacts. The main difference between fresh water and seawater is that fresh water mainly comes from precipitation, while seawater comes from various factors. The salty taste of seawater comes from the accumulated salt water of the Earth. 
Various processes on the planet include rock erosion of the seafloor, volcanic activity, and evaporation of seawater. If this has given you a thirst give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more daily Eureka Science Sauce videos, it helps us creators keep the channel going forward, also, where do you get your drinking water from worldwide? Comments below, thanks for watching.